Well, hello there. How y'all doing on today? Hey, everybody. Hi. And welcome on in to the Blessed Living Kitchen. Yep, Blessed Living Channel. And we in our kitchen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> and I hope everybody's feeling great and awesome and hopeful and in belief. And don't start doubting God. Just trust and believe and just start rejoicing. And I tell y'all, we got we got so much to be thankful for. And um, yes, yes. we're just going to just try to try, y'all. And I know God going to help me to make a beautiful pineapple upside down cake. So let's get started. And we got my butter here, too. Uh, soften sticks of butter here. Uh, got three cups of self-rising flour and sugar, three cups of sugar. I've got four eggs I'm going to use. i got my pineapple slices here. I've got my uh, pineapple juice from the slices in here. And then I've got my Narachino cherries. And then I've got my baking powder. I've got some cinnamon, but that's optional. You don't have to use that. And then I've got my brown sugar over on the table there. So, um, first of all, let's get our butter softened and mixed in and get it started here. Thank you, Jesus. Let's get everything going here nice and make it nice and fluffy and ready. Get it all in there. And this will be a nice little cake for your uh, Christmas time uh, and your family, yourself, for a special occasion. It's one of the old Southern favorites. Everyone loves get my egg yolks apart from my whites. Well, that's okay. I will put in one at a time. Let's get it in there.
I'm going to get my baking powder here. Even though it's a shelf rise, I'm going to add baking powder. And I'm going to add a little baking soda. And I'm sure that my cake rises to a nice height. Baking powder. buy them in bulk, you know, so now I have lemon juice left over from my cans of lemons, see so I'm going to just add a little of that juice in to the cake, if you want lemon or pineapple, that's a, I mean pineapple juice, I'm sorry that's a good texture Nice buttery pineapple. That's good. That's looking good, John. Now here's where I can scrape my sides in so I can get everything in there. Get it all in there. That's a great texture. I'm pleased with that. That's why I want to add that milk slow because you eat too much. Then you get a, a, a really uh, wet, sloppy cake that's too thin. That's great batter there. So I'm going to be pleased with that. Okay, y'all, and so now I'm over to the uh, baking pan here, the bunt pan. And what I'm doing is, if you look in, I have my softened butter that I'm spreading on the bottom of the pan. See there? Spreading that butter. That's, that's going to be where my um, pineapples are going to go on top. Um, and what I'm going to do is... I'm going to put my brown sugar on top of the butter. I'll show you like this here. And you can also substitute this sugar for Splenda. But you want your... You want to put it in, get it into that butter. And that should be enough of that there. Then I'm going to take my pineapples. And I am going to spread them around the bottom. Like that. And that took about six pineapples. You also can use this as a sheet cake. You know, you can make a pretty uh, sheet cake one too. Or, um, or layer cake one. I got some beautiful mar maraschino cherries here. 
And what we want to do is, I don't want the stems on. Let me see if I have the stems on. So I'm going to take the stems off. And I'm going to place it one in each hole of the pineapple. And that's for it really decoration and pretty beauty. But that's how you make pineapple upside down cake. Uh, put one in each hole of the pineapple. That's a teeny one there. <laughs> Almost could take two there. Uh, I guess that's enough. These little guys are sweet. How many of y'all know about maraschino cherries? So many good things you can cook with that. And um, I am going to get my baster. You have my baster over there? Now I'm going to baste my sides with oil so that my cake is going to ensure to come out. Remember, the bottom is buttered and with brown sugar. That's really going to be the top of the cake. Pineapple upside down. Up a lot of people don't do this part, but you know how tricky that batter is. Where you can just stick to the sides and you want it to just come out. So I'm just going to hurt to put a little bit in. I'm going to put my batter in. Got the oven at 350. It depends on what your oven is like. You could use 325. We're gonna put this in at 350. Now let's see what's going on, y'all. And so praising God, y'all, that. Our pineapple upside down cake came out so beautiful. 
for the holidays, and I'm just excited about it. I want you to get a little close up. You can see the maraschino cherries and see how the uh, brown pepper, um, um, sorry, uh, brown sugar, when you uh, coat the pan with the butter, then you put the brown sugar in because it goes into the butter and seeks in. Then you layer it with the pineapples and put the maraschino cherry in each in each one and uh, very pleased with it. It smells so awesome, y'all. It's still warm. So I'm letting it cool off here. But that is our beautiful pineapple upside down cake. And you can make it. It's, it's not a hard thing to do. So you might want to make one for your family. You'll, it'll be one of your favorite cakes. Good old southern pineapple upside down. Isn't that beautiful? What do you think about that? Beautiful. <laughs> and so we got to let it cool off and then give y'all the first piece. And so we got um, two slices here for y'all of some of that beautiful pineapple upside down cake. And I tell you, I'm excited about this cake. And you got to try this recipe, y'all. And I know it's going to be a good treat for the family and for your, your get-togethers or whatever you want to use it for. It's a simple recipe. It's easy, a little tricky, but you can do it. And I know you're going to do it. Yeah, write in the comments and let me know if you're going to attempt to make this cake. And it's good and buttery and pineapple, pineapple -y and it's a good, a good thing. We love y'all. Um, I'm going to make some um, donuts and cookies, so I'm doing holiday baking and um, and just something exciting and spread some joy. So we love y'all. We're praying. Thank you and welcome new subscribers and our regular family of subscribers. Be blessed. See you next time. Next video.